This is the final part of the tutorial that shows how to make a simple train animation. In this part, I'll show you how to make the mountain that the train goes around. The starting file for this tutorial is the file from the end of the previous part. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Change the view to the front view. Pan, shift to middle mouse button. I want to place the insertion cursor just above the green ground plane. Change the view to the top view. I want the center of the mountain to be about there. Add mesh circle and change the fill type to triangle fan. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and go into edit mode. Select a vertex, hold down the Alt key and select the ring of vertices. Press E to extrude, S to scale, 1.5 and enter. And we do that three times. E to extrude, S to scale, 1.5, enter. E, S, 1.5, enter. E, S, 1.5. Enter, E to extrude again, S to scale, this time 1.35 and enter. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift the middle mouse button. Go into object mode. With the circle selected, hold down shift and select the ground and click join. Go back into edit mode and I'm going to close this gap select, shift select, shift select, shift select, F to make face. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Select, shift select, F to make edge. Select, shift select, F to make edge. Now we have a nice topology for making the mountain. Next I'm going to fill in the gap. Now I'm going to later apply a subdivision surface modifier to the scene. So we want a mesh that will subdivide nicely. A mesh that will subdivide nicely is one made up of nice shaped quad faces. Although for a scene, a natural scene, it's not critical to make sure all the faces are quad faces. I've jumped ahead to where I've connected all the vertices of the circle except for this one which I've deliberately left. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, select, shift select, press F to make edge, zoom back and pan, shift middle mouse button, select, shift select, F to make edge, press C for C select, select all the inside vertices. Press escape to get out of C select, press F to make face. Select a vertex, press C for C select, select all the inside vertices. Press escape, F to make face. Control and mouse wheel to pan sideways. Select a vertex, press C for C select and select all the inside vertices. Press escape to get out of C select, F to make face. Hold down control and use the mouse wheel to pan sideways. Scroll down and select the knife tool. Click on a vertex, click on the opposite vertex, press space to confirm. Click the knife tool, click on the vertex, hold down control for the midpoint, click on the vertex, press spacebar to confirm. Control and mouse wheel to pan sideways. Go into face select mode. Select a face. Press C for C select and select all the faces at the center of the mountain. 
escape to get out of C select, click the material button, click the add new material slot button, click the add new material button, call the new material snow, click on the diffuse color, slide up so that red, green and blue are all one, slide to make the intensity one, click the assign button to assign the material to the selection, enable proportional editing, set the fall off to root, go into vertex select mode, select the vertex at the center of the mountain, press G to grab and Z for the Z axis, use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing, press 6 and enter, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, change the fall off to random, press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, 4 and enter, go into object mode, click the modifiers button, add the subdivision surface modifier and set the number of views to 2. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.